right. This section of the video is going to be very specific regarding how you program the switches for your payout. I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and these three switches here uh, correspond to the amount of coins that are dispensed when one dollar is inserted. Um, in many locations where it's important that the coins come out quickly, uh, typically you would program all three hoppers. If you're not as concerned about speed and uh, eliminating possible service calls, then we'll use the hopper swap or option, which I'll go over next. But in most of our operations, if it's an attended arcade or somebody's nearby, they'll want to get the coins out quicker. So what I'm going to do is, using this legend here, I know that the value of the dip switches when they're on is 1, 2, 4, or 8. So what I'm going to do, just as a start, I'll have my control board off. And I kind of just like to visually inspect it and, and just I'm moving all the switches in these three banks to off and I'm going to go ahead and move for the lower ones all to off. I'm going to go ahead and turn switch number one on. So I'm getting one coin from the right hopper. I'm going to turn switch number two on here. So that gives me two coins out of the center hopper. Here when I turn switch one on and only number one on I'm getting one coin. So when a dollar is inserted, this board right now is programmed to pay out one, two, and one coin for one dollar bill. The next payout is covered by these five switches, and this is we're programming it for a five dollar payout. Again, when a 10 is installed, it does double, and a 20 does quadruple the amount of coins that are paid out here. Um, my feeling here is some places get more high denomination bills than the other. I'm kind of for the one dollar bill, I'm knocking two coins out of here so it's, the hoppers will empty quicker in this scenario. So what I'm going to do for the five dollar payout is not pay out as many coins here. So what I could do is I'm going to go ahead and just pay out eight coins, which is a nice mathematical number because it's just one switch on, and four. So to do eight coins is dip switch four on. To do four coins is dip switch three. So I did eight on, four on, and then uh, dip switch number four on. So I'm paying out 20 coins right here for each $5 bill inserted, and that will probably help your uh, coin levels pay out the properly. Um, the, the next right here are, are, are my option switches. And in the, like the, the, the upper switches are very rarely used, but it actually corresponds to putting in coins. Um, this typically would just be used by our arcades that want to insert um, maybe one quarter and then get out one coin. So to do that programming, I would program one coin to start, one coin out. Um, some of our batting cages actually use this a little bit differently, and they could actually program it four coins or four quarters in to get one token out. So if you have like, a, if you're dispensing high value tokens typically at um, like batting cages will do this or golf driving ranges, um, that, that feature right there will allow you to take quarters and uh, dispense out high value uh, coins. The next is hopper swapper is number 10. So that essentially is what Roe called the maximum change. So I'm going to talk about the rest of these option switches and then the final part of this video I'm going to talk about programming for the hopper swapper. Switches 11 and 12 on this are very helpful in the event that you have a motor that's failing and you just don't have time to replace it. Um, it, it will actually allow overpay. So if these switches are just off and it overpays one coin it's going to shut down and put your machine out of service. If you have a machine that's failing and randomly it's overpaying a coin and you're not so concerned about it, you could program it here so it's allowed to overpay. Uh, in doing that, for instance, if I turn dip switch number 11 to the on position, it's going to allow one coin overpay. And then the 12 would be two, so I can allow up to three coins uh, for overpay. Um, the next switches right here are used typically only in an arcade situation where you're dispensing tokens. And this is for our bonus coins. And there's a legend here, so it tells you if you want to, for a $2 bill, if switch 1 is on, it will give one bonus coin. If switch 2 is on, two bonus coins. So for a $2 bill, you could give up to three bonus coins. And then the value of all 12 switches is here. Uh, the bottom ones would be the most common. Um, to use to kind of uh, st you know get customers to put in the higher denomination bills, so you could program it to do for a twenty dollar bill, uh, 
uh, up to, let's see, you would have 15 extra coins for a $20 bill is the maximum amount of bonus coins that you could do. So the next section I'm going to move on and I'm going to discuss the uh, hopper swapper programming.